Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a system of equations. I call this a system of equations because we kind of have like two equations here. We can write this as x plus y equals xy and xy is equal to x over y. So that becomes a system. You could also write it as x plus y equals xy and x plus y is equal to x over y. All these are going to give you pretty much the same thing. Okay? So let's go ahead and talk about the solution method first. And then at the end, I'm going to show you a graph, which is really cool because you can graph these relationships or relations and then take a look at the intersection points. And obviously, how we do graph something like this, you can't have two equal sign, but there is a way to do it, just like uh, in the system. Anyway, so let's start with some restrictions. First of all, y cannot equal zero, right? Y cannot equal zero because it's in the denominator. Great. Looks like that's my only limitation for now. Let's see how this goes. I have x plus y equals xy and xy equals x over y. What should I start with? I feel like starting with these two things. Let's go ahead and start with that equation. Find some conditions and then plug it into maybe these two and then see where that goes. Okay, so we're going to start with xy over X, x y equals x over y. So basically talking about two numbers whose quotient equals their product, which is kind of interesting, right? Can you really think of two numbers whose quotient equals their product? Maybe. Maybe some special numbers. But anyways, don't make any assumptions. You don't need to. Let's go ahead and put everything on the same side and solve. So subtract x over y and then make a common denominator. And just totally forget about y because y cannot be zero anyways. So this is what we get from here. And isn't that nice? We got a really nice equation. But it's going to be nicer if you factor out the x. Awesome. What does this mean? This means three things. Either x is zero or y is one or y is negative one. I mean, both of these can happen at the same time if it's good for all equations. But I'm just saying those are or, either or. Not necessarily either or, but just or. Whatever. So th those are the findings. Let's go ahead and see how that works with the other two equations. Maybe I'll just pick the first two. x plus y equals xy. Now we're going to look at each case. Case number one, case number two, and case number three. All right? Let's see where this goes. Cool. Now, if x is equal to 0, let's go ahead and take a look at the first case scenario. If x is 0, then from this equation, I get y is equal to 0. But that's not good. How did I get that? Well, if x is 0, this is going to become 0, right? But that's not good because, remember, we said y cannot equal 0, right? Well, you kind of had to write it down and make sure you keep track of it. So y cannot be 0, so this is not possible. It's not going to happen. First case is done. Too bad. Second case. Y is equal to 1. What does that imply? Let's plug it in. X plus 1 equals... If Y is equal to 1, that's going to give us X plus 1 equals X. Uh-oh. That doesn't look very good, does it? Can you have add to a number and then still get the same number? Maybe with infinity, but infinity is not a number. Some people say, hey, the answer is infinity. No, no, no. It's not a number. It's just a concept. You know, we can talk about something approaching infinity, but it can't equal infinity because no one has been there, right? Anyway, so this is absurd, isn't it? This is not going to happen. No way. So the second case also dies. What are we going to do? We only have third case. Hopefully this works. Otherwise, we're going to end up with no solution, which is kind of annoying, right? But that's still the answer. Okay, y equals negative 1. What am I going to do with this? Plug it in. Again, the same thing over and over. Look at that. We got the, one of the equations, and that's what we do. So if y is negative 1, x minus 1 equals negative x. Awesome. This looks good. Put the x on, x's on the same side and 1 on the right-hand side. 2x equals 1. Hmm, that looks good to me. x equals 1 half. Awesome. This looks really good. So we got ourselves a solution. Yay. So what does that mean? Conclusion. We only got one solution, and that solution is... 1 half comma negative 1. Now, is there another way to solve this problem? I'm pretty sure. You could also start with, I think, the first two equations. 
kind of try to solve. So maybe as an alternative, should I talk about it? I don't know. I haven't planned it, but let's let's talk about it as a second method, second approach. Okay. So if you have x plus y equals x y, what does this imply, right? Well, we can kind of interpret it this way. I'm able to isolate one of the variables. So why don't we just try to solve for y or x? What would you like to do? I'd like to solve for y. So let's go ahead and subtract y and then factor out y. And then this is going to give us y equals x over x minus 1. This also kind of tells you why x cannot equal 1. Remember, x equals 1. Uh, didn't give us, well, did we have that? I don't know. Anyways, I'm confused myself here. So x equals 1, obviously, in this case, is impossible because it's just going to imply, if you look at the original equation, that would imply y equals y. y equals y. So that would be normal. Anyways, so we got y by itself in terms of x. Let's go ahead and take a look at another equation. What do we have? Uh, we have, I don't know, we have maybe xy equals x over y. Let's use that x, y equals x over y. And then why don't we just plug this in? Let's go ahead and replace y with that. And to make it a little easier, first you can cross multiply and then do the replacement. That's going to give us, uh-oh, that's not going to be good. I, I think this is going to give us a cubic, but that's okay. We can do it, right? And y is going to be replaced with x over x minus 1 again. Well, to make it a little easier, you can do a little bit of factoring if you want. Uh, I don't know. Uh, or you can just proceed. Let's just proceed. And then uh, let's multiply both sides by x minus 1 squared, which is this. And then this is going to cancel out. And one of these is going to cancel out. We get x cubed equals x squared minus x, which is kind of interesting, right? So let's go ahead and put everything on the same side. x cubed minus x squared plus x is equal to 0. Take out x, you get x squared minus x plus 1 equals zero. Awesome. What do we get from here, right? Well, doesn't look like it's going to give me a nice uh, solution unless we made a mistake, right? Oh, yes, I did find out what the mistake was. Yay, I just messed up. It's supposed to be equal to y, not, uh, it's supposed to equal x, not y. Okay, I messed up. Sorry about that. I'll go back and fix it. So this is supposed to be x, y squared equals x, and then since we're replacing y with that, it's only going to be one replacement. So here we go. This equals x. And then you can go ahead and just write it as x squared over x minus 1 squared again. And then you can basically multiply both sides by this. Notice that x cannot equal 1, but multiply by this and you'll get rid of that. And this is going to give us x cubed equals x times x squared minus 2x plus 1. If you distribute it, x cubed equals x cubed minus 2x squared plus x. And the x cubed cancels out. We get 2x squared minus x is equal to 0. Factor out x, you get 2x minus 1 equals 0. Either x is 0 or x is 1 half. What happens if x is 0? We run into a problem because that makes y equal 0. So this is not good. And we're going to go with x equals 1 half, which is going to give us y equals negative 1, I think, right? All right, great. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and we'll finish up. So the graph, this is the way I made this graph in Desmos. X plus Y equals X, Y. Remember, that's the first two expressions. And then the second and third gives us the other one. And notice that these two graphs intersect at a single point, 1 half comma negative 1. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time in another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.